Okay, are you a man? Yeah. Are you a musician? Yes. Are you the best musician? Yes. Okay, all right. Are you the blue wiggle? Obviously not. No. Oh. Are you the red wiggle? Yes, actually. Wow. <laughs> The word colon refers to either a punctuation mark dividing a sentence or a tract in your large intestine. It's unclear which colon is referred to in Wolf Eye's new album, I Am A Problem, colon, Mind In Pieces. But Zach, wouldn't revealing that ruin the mystery? Well, it is something of a mystery how different a direction Wolf Eyes have gone mm. on this new record. I mean, it's comfortably their least heavy record that I've heard, and that's quite a lot of Wolf Eyes records that I've heard. Mm -hmm. It starts off quite moody and atmospheric, the first track, and then kind of proceeds into this sort of like stoner metal vibe. That's trip metal is how they refer to it. Trip metal. Trip metal, yeah. Sure. I hadn't heard guitars played so definitely as guitars by Wolf Eyes. Yeah, so yeah. Long, you know? There's licks, there's, a, there's, a, there's even a bloody solo yeah. at the, on one of the tracks. Yeah. It's incredible. Because well, you get a lot of metal that sort of claims to be like stoner metal or like psychedelic metal, mm. um, but really it's just pretty riffy. And I'm sure it's great if you're stoned or on psychedelics, but I don't find it particularly deep or wiggy or psychedelic. But mm. this is psychedelic yeah. sort of metal. I would be scared to listen to this record on acid. Mm. And as we all know, you know, being scared is one of life's great great pleasures pleasures like the vocals are in the four a little bit and the guitars are in the four so that's probably why it feels poppier just because it's got those i guess those more instinctive characteristics of rock music mm. um coming at you but it's a very odd record mm. it's a very unique record mm. and it's a it's another experiment from a band that just doesn't seem like they're going to stop experimenting yeah with noise Anytime soon. And it's a, it's a good, good, interesting way to experiment. Because normally with these noise bands, it's, it's just brinkmanship. It's like, who can make the most punishing bloody record? Well, they've decided to go the op opposite way. Yeah, well, they've and like I think 10 it's a great years move. Of, yeah, like look, 10 yeah, yeah, years yeah. of punishing. They've well and truly done that. They've punished. Mm. Maybe now they're punishing the punishing music lovers by not punishing. Because they're masochists. It's a really good record for anyone that likes noise or guitars or riffing or metal or fucking around. It's, mm. a, it's, it's a four zacker from me. Zack, 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 zack. And it's a four zacker from me. Zack, 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 zack. Five, four, three, two, two. One O Tricks Point Never's new album, Garden of Delete. But Matt, doesn't your computer say backspace? I thought I couldn't be surprised anymore by 10 Tricks, to mm. be honest. I, I thought he'd pretty much pulled every trick out of the bag yeah. by this point. But... Yeah, he's got new tricks. Eh? He's still got new tricks, yeah. doesn't he? And he's, this guy's just full of fucking ideas. Um, it's got a lot of, like, I guess, artifacts from the previous record. And, of course, his classic sort of trademark wild arpeggiations on organs and that sort of thing. But he's just absolutely fucked them on this record. It's just kind of like this crazy, gyrating, psychedelic mindfuck. It's, really. a, it's a pretty bonkers mm. record. And like you said, you're like, oh, one of tricks won't never. I know how bonkers that goes. This yeah. goes another level yeah. of bonkers. It's just such an intense uh, smashing of high culture and low culture. And this idea of just like, you know, horribly like insipid, sugary pop music just being blasted against um, hair metal. You know? Yeah, <laughs> just anything and everything. At this point, you know, it's it's just so refreshing to hear an album from a guy. Well, I, you know, I always suspected that he was sentimental, One O Tricks, because there's kind of like a bit of hope and a bit of optimism in his previous records. But now he's a cynical prick like the rest of us. <laughs> and there's this, yeah, you're right, this dystopian pessimism to the whole thing yeah. which is really something it's a strange angry record to listen to like you know where some people where metalheads would listen to metal to get that fix us arty pretentious wankers listen to albums like this i've had an i'm sick of our voices all right but i'm not sick of the wonderful music of <laughs> one tricks point never and his excellent record garden of delete which i'm going to give 
four zacks and a half of gotchi. Zach, 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 Zach. Gotcha. And that's five zacks from gotchi. <laughs> It's a knockout. Zach, 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 Zach. Okay, here's one, here's one. There are more hotels in the United States than there are cities. Truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've heard that one. Shit yourself right now. Dare? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Um, oh, all right. Oh, so, um, a small air conditioner is also known as a heater. Dare? Truth. I fucking hate truth or dare. True. Go for it, I guess. Dare.